Pathology of the day, another easy one. You guys should get this. So you, you look at a panorex of a patient and you see this well-defined radiolucency. And these are typically in the anterior mandible. They can be anywhere in the mandible, but the majority of them are in the anterior mandible. They're asymptomatic. There's no expansion whatsoever. So what we have here is we have a 16-year-old male, went to his dentist, routine panorex, sees his radiolucency. All the teeth are vital around the region. Um, I'm gonna show you a surgery picture of this. We go in there, we do surgery, and you just got this empty cavern. There's nothing in there. So there's not a real pathology to show you. Every once in a while you get in here and you can see like a little bit of a, like a lining of some, that kind of looks like a cyst, but it's, it's real wispy, real thin, but most of the time it's just an empty cavity. And sometimes you can even see the roots located inside of this cavity. Panorex, radiolucency, well-defined. All these teeth are vital. So when you do vitality tests on these teeth, they all test normal. So this is not a cyst that's coming from a bad tooth. Uh, if you look at the surgical x-ray on this, do a little incision in the vestibule. I prefer not to do a incision around the teeth. I like to do it in the vestibule. And if you do the incision here, you have to make sure that you're at least five or six millimeters from the attached tissue so that you can get good closure and you need to do a multi-layer closure to reattach the mentalis muscle but that's besides the point empty cavity no cyst lining hollow area in the bone so the question is it's an easy one what is this that we're talking about and the other one is how do you treat these if you treat them